Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Joshua Minor, Minister Joshua Minor, aka Musical Wonder with GospelMusicFormula.com. And I'm here just to give a little lesson. Yes, I'm on my Korg Triton Pro. Uh, one of my babies, my other one is the Casio Digital Piano. Uh, today, I'm just going to take the worship pattern that I posted and add some chords to it. I remember I said in that video that I would build upon that basic formula, which to recap, let's remember it was an E flat. To learn it, then uh, I'll place a link of that video and you can go to the site and check it out. Now, all I'm going to do is add a, a little variation to that because this lesson is for those that have already went through the, the part number one, and all you're going to do is add upon that to give, uh, you know, variation. You may to choose what chord you want to use, you know. So, let me show you what I'm going to teach you in this lesson. Like I said, if you've already went through part one, you know what the pattern is, you know the counts, how many bars, how many measures, and the notes and the changes. So, like I said, we're just going to dive right in. Remember, we started in E flat, and we're going to add some thickness to the bass. So, when you're holding that E flat, remember you're holding either two octave E flats and the B flat. Also in the in the right hand you can add the F to the E flat chord. Whether your thumb hit both of them or you have you know an individual finger. Because I'm not sure, um, I, I don't want to quote and be wrong, but I'll post what basically this chord is, is, is called. But all you're doing is adding the F. And it gives a, a, a lush sound to it. So that's how we're starting. Right? And remember you went to the G on the bass with the B flat, the right hand, but this time we're going to change that. We're going to go here. It's a D flat major chord, and you're adding the seven note. So it's a D flat major seven. D flat C, D flat, and F. And on the bass, B flat. step and the second step is all you are moving is the A flat down to G and the right hand that is all you are doing and in the left hand you're going from the B flat to the E flat
to show you in real time how it fits in. First, I'm gonna do the first pattern I showed you. The second pattern with the variations in it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You saw that? Remember in the in the first pattern, the B flat and the G go through the whole bar, the whole measure. But when you use the variation, you split that bar in half with the two chords. This gets two counts, and then the second one gets two counts. That's all it is. There's nothing added, there's nothing taken away. You just basically split it. So it's one, two, three, four. And then you go back and you're still there. You go to where you need to go, which is the A flat. So even if that's all you wanted to add in this, you can do it. One, That variation, you're just cutting the measure, just cutting the counts in half. The first chord has the first two counts, the second one has the last two counts, and then you keep going, okay? Now, moving on, remember we have the A flat. All we are going to add in the right hand of that A flat is a G and basically this is the A flat major 7 chord because you're adding 7 and that's all we're doing and in the left hand just add the E flat with the A flat because one thing you want to do when you're playing a piano or keyboard is you want it to sound full Yes, you can do just one note in the left hand, but if you can just, if you can add broken chords, just like two notes, I mean, you don't have to get fancy if you don't want to, just two notes, and these are notes that are in the in, in the right hand. Just pick notes that, that will give out a good range. Um, like if, if you you're playing a chord and you want to find out what notes work well, you know, look at what your right hand has. You know, okay, right hand, okay, my right hand has an F, A, C, E. Okay, let me try the F and A. Okay, that, that, that's, that's okay, but you know, it kind of sounds uh, real, you know, bass heavy. Okay, let me try. A and C. Okay, that definitely not, it's okay, but it, it gets away from the sound I'm looking for. Let me try the F and C. Okay, now that sounds pretty good. It's playing and developing your skill over your gift. It's, it's all about trial and error. It's all about learning and just sitting down and, and fumbling, basically. So, back to the A flat. That's all we're adding. We're just adding the E flat with the bass. So it's A flat and E flat, and you're just adding the G uh, to the A flat in the right hand. And then, you know, honestly, that same chord in the right hand, you can hold it when you go to the. Because remember, with the B flat on the bass and the A flat, you know, on the turnaround, you just hold the A flat with the B flat on the bass. You can hold that same chord. And it still rings out lovely. And then you go back home. Then there's a, I can't remember if I showed that. All it is is B flat, C, E flat. Be back home.
you can change it up. You go into it. You go to drive. You can just go to the back to the simple A flat. Then the more bigger. It's up to you. Take it and, and change it up. But like I said, these, the, the pattern is the basic structure. And these videos are basically give you variations to add to that. They do not replace the basic structure. They just add on top of that. So you have choices. So you don't have to always play the same thing unless the Lord leading you, you know, to just keep where you're at. Then that's fine. Do what he says. Um, these are just variations to add substance to it. And like I showed you, they're, they're quite simple. And I want to make sure it's broken down to where you understand it. So uh, I hope you got it. And like I said, if you haven't checked out the first video, please do. Because it's much easier to grasp this if you're still a beginner or not fully beginner it's much easier to grasp this if you got the first video so check that out if you haven't and like i said if you're learning this if you can post video response or you know email me or send a comment i really want to hear the feedback from all of you okay so be blessed and like i said keep striking those keys and practice and more updates coming as far as the lesson plan as well as the option for me to teach you one-on-one -on -one if you live in Jacksonville, Florida. And even if you don't live here, uh, there will still be one-on-one -on -one teaching via online and uh, using online media. And, and I will give more info for those that are interested with that and the the pricing that will be, and I work with people, it won't be like an arm and a leg. So, but I still I'll still be posting lessons and tutorials as well on YouTube and on my website page. Again, that's gospelmusicformula.com. But that's it for now. So go practice that. Make it your own. sultry sounds of music.